This guy uh, is still yeah, about four and a half megahertz. So that's the gate drive. I think I've got this set. Yeah, so this is about uh, 45 volts DC. I'm gonna have this running at. Oh, gotta cut my speakers off. See, I'm not really filtering that or anything, so kicks back some noise into my uh, speakers. So, it's about 250, 260 watts, something like that. And, uh, you know, it's not running too great, but it's about how that's going. About 45 volts. So, I've got about, uh, about 250 on the drain right now. But, you know, let's just say if I can maintain a, uh, like a steady loading, arc loading, like that, then uh, that circuit seems to be a lot more stable, right? Gate waveform actually looks a little better, a lot less ringing. That flame is not going nuts all the time, kind of throwing it out of whack, changing the tuning. Um, you know, so let's say I would have something suspended over it like this uh, to draw the flame to could probably ramp the voltage up a whole lot more um, you know let's just say like doing like this push some decent power out of that thing uh, without the tuning getting too out of whack so you can kind of see just likes being sort of more tame like that Yeah, anyway, I don't know if I can uh, tune that any better. Yeah, just a little bit. So let me see. I don't know. I don't want to bring it up too much. Do 47. I'll do about 270 watts. That's about as high as I brought this. About 270, 280 rather. Yeah, I kind of have to do this to uh, keep that copper breakout point from uh, overheating. Yeah, it's not super quiet anymore. Um, lower power actually would probably be great playing music. But uh, yeah, I can actually hear some sizzling going on with this power. So let's see. You're going to let me freaking zoom in. Yeah. 
Yeah, anyway, uh, it's not bad. It's kind of hard to see it until I cut the lights off. Yeah, anyway, just wanted to give that a run, cut that off, yeah, still cool, just wanted to do like a real-time run, just kind of show the uh, temperature there, get this on there, you can see it's still, still pretty cold, put one dot on the fit, one on the uh, heat sink. So yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I can't feel any warmth on that at all, you know, like none whatsoever, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so I guess really the, uh, probably the driver, uh, the driver, still pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, every everything stays pretty cool on there. The coil itself is going to be the hottest thing, it's the, <laughs> the tip, breakout point tip. Uh, so I got the lights down now. This is going to be a test to see if I can... Uh, kick started at 47 so that's kind of one little concern you know I got a fairly sharp breakout point it's not like super dull or anything uh, but not real sure what's going on that split second it's uh, ramping up trying to break out so here we go hopefully it's not gonna blow up so luckily that did start up looks like I kind of need to tweak it a little bit Maybe as things warm up, the tuning changes a little bit. I'm not sure if I can focus in on the plasma. See it better. Yeah, there you go. Try to get it to drop like that. Well, it's not going to stay that way, but anyway. I wanted to uh, just go ahead and try to bring it to 50. So there goes 50. Once again, just tuned it slightly differently. So that's about the point where that uh, those waveforms, I don't like them a whole lot. But again, if I just kind of tame the flame like that. You know, start switching all right about that exact loading right <laughs> that that's pretty decent at uh 50 volts loading it like that get about 170 watts out of it and then that's about 300 or so about 295 300 but that ringing on the gate is getting a little too high a little burning myself Trying to tune it a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, that's not bad. It easily get about just about three inches out that thing. So again, it's not really. Uh, I'm holding it at like 150 watts or so, but I like looking at that white hot flame a little bit more oh, I'm screwing up my screwdriver but yeah anyway there you go that's about 300 watts 250 something 
Uh, let me see if I can check the heat on that. So again, we're at 20, uh, 29. So that wasn't a very long run, but you know, typically anything that's out of tune, uh, you run about 300 watts like that, about that frequency, you're gonna be burning it up. So again, while this FET doesn't have uh, the lowest gate charge that I've seen compared to some other ones. So really this is about as high as I want to run it. That thing works great. You know, the, the uh, switching doesn't have to look superb. And uh, I can run that thing for a super long time. Doesn't get hot.